Hello everyone, today I wanted to, to show you guys the Game of Thrones living card game. Um, yeah, it's been around quite a while, so I uh, don't expect a lot of you guys to be new at this. Um, but I am, so um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what's inside the core set. So, I've already unpacked it, played a couple of games, and that's why it's already unpacked. Future packs will not be unpacked already, I promise. Oh. First of all, let's uh, take a look at the tokens. We have a first player token, which is the Iron Throne. Uh, we have gold tokens, double-sided. Uh, influence tokens, double-sided. And power tokens, double-sided. Those are the tokens. You get a bunch of each, except for the first player token, of course. Um, then there are two starter decks, um, as depicted in the rule book. Of course, you uh, can build everything yourself, but the first one is from House Stark. And it tells us to play with Calm over Westeros plot, the Wildfire Assault plot, Supporting the Faith plot, Filthy Accusations plot, a Noble Cause plot, Calling the Banners plot, um, summons plot and that's it for the plots for um, House Stark then the other cards are Littlefinger, Rattleshirt Raiders and Milk of the Poppy The Rose Road For the North Winter is Coming of course, Arya Stark uh, Rob Stark Sansa Stark, Adart Stark The Wolf's Wood The Heart Tree Grove Gates of Winterfell, Grey Wind, Direwolf Pup, Caitlin Stark, Bran Stark, Ice, Tumblestone Knights, uh, Another Heart Tree Grove, The King's Road, Summer, Another King's Road, Like Warm Rain, Another Rose Road, The Winterfell Steward, and Vanguard of the North. Now I'm not going over all of the cards, um, simply because that would be too much to talk about in one video and it would get rather boring rather soon. So this is just to show you guys what's in the core set and what the decks are um, made of according to Fantasy Flight Games. So these two decks are built uh, for a Joust, that's a two player mode. And there's also a melee mode in which you can build four decks uh, of two factions each just to play the game with one core set. But then again, I just uh, have my girlfriend to teach the game and uh, my other friends are teaching, are uh, learning it later on. So we're not there yet. Uh, the second deck is House Lannister, my favorite. Power Behind the Throne. A Clash of Kings, Wildfire Assault, Taxation, Summons, Marching Orders, and a Feast for Crows. That's the plot cards for the Lannister deck. Then we go on to the characters and the rest of the deck. Sir Jamie Lannister, Grand Maester Pycelle, Milk of the Poppy, Lannisport Merchant, uh, Western Fiefdom, the Queen's Assassin, Hear Me Roar, The Things I Do For Love, Cersei Lannister, Littlefinger, The Tickler, The Gold Cloaks, The Rattle Shirt Raiders, Joffrey Baratheon, uh, Widow's Will, Tywin Lannister, The King's Road, The Rose Road, Another Western Fiefdom, Another Rose Road, Burnt Man, uh, Lannisport, Castle Rock, Lannisport Moneylender, Treachery, another King's Road, and Tyrion Lannister. So, if you have been uh, paying attention, you will see four times the King's Road in one core box and four times the Rose Road. That's right, and you can only have three of the same cards in your deck. So. You'll have a couple more than you need to from those. For plot cards, you can uh, choose one plot card 
to have in your deck twice and the rest is only once. So let's take a look at the rest of uh, the cards in here. So we have uh, House Tyrell, House Targaryen, The Night's Watch, House Martell, House Greyjoy and House Baratheon. Then we have a couple of um, support cards, titles, which is actually pretty uh, cool because this, are, uh, this is used in multiplayer. If you play a melee, um, you just randomly uh, pick a title and you are that title for that round. That's actually pretty fun and you can support characters so you cannot uh, commit uh, conflict against them. Or you are a rival in which you get bonuses if you win. So that's pretty fun. Uh, we have Master of Whispers, Master of Ships, Hand of the King, Master of Coin, Master of Laws, Crown Regents, and that's it for now, I believe. Now we have a couple more plots. Uh, a Game of Thrones, a Storm of Swords, Building Orders, Confiscation. Look at that art. <laughs> nice. Counting Coppers. Fortified Position. Heads on Spikes. Jousting Contest. Marched to the Wall. Naval Superiority. Rebuilding. Reinforcements. Sneak Attack. The Winds of Winter. Right. And then we have some uh, Agendas. Every player can uh, pick an agenda at the start of the game, place it open next to your faction card. And so for this deck, uh, well, for the core set, we have Fealty. Is that the only one? Huh. Well, we have Fealty. All right. Then uh, for neutral cards, we have Varys times two. Uh, Wildling Horde times two. We have some items. The Seal of the Hand. Bodyguard. Uh, Little Bird, Noble Lineage, Sirio's Training, The Iron Throne. Look at that, it's very imposing. Much more so than uh, the one in the series, in the TV show. Put to the Sword, Put to the Torch, times two. Superior Claim, times two. The Tears of Lys, The Hand's Judgment. And then we go on to the very first House which is House Baratheon. Well, except for the other two. So, House Baratheon. Mesa Crescent, Melisandre, Robert Baratheon, uh, Salise Baratheon, Sir Davos Seaworth, Shireen Baratheon, Stannis Baratheon, Bastard in Hiding, Fiery Followers, King's Hunting Party, Dragonstone Faithful, and the Vanguard Lancer. And then we have uh, Lightbringer, Dragonstone Port, times two, the Chamber of the Painted Table, the Red Keep, Consolidation of Power, Ours is the Fury, Seen in Flames. Then we go on to uh, House Greyjoy. Is that Greyjoy? Wait. I think so. Oh, I have a... Yes, of course, it's Greyjoy. Silly me, silly me. Aaron Dampere. Alanis Greyjoy. Asha Greyjoy. Balon Greyjoy. Euron Crow's Eye. Maester Wendemir. Theon Greyjoy. Black Wind's Crew. Drowned Man. Iron Island's Fishmonger. Le uh, Lord's Port Shipwright. Salty Navigator, Throwing Axe, Great Kraken, Iron Fleet Scout, Sea Tower times two, Risen from the Sea, The Kraken's Grasp. We do not sow. That's it for House Greyjoy. Now for House Martel. Um, Ario Hota, Ariane Martel, Doran Martel, Edric Dane. Maester Kaliot, Obara Sand, the Red Viper, Desert Scavenger, the Dornish Paramour, Greenblood Trader, House Day Knight, Palace Spearman, 
Now we get Dawn as a weapon. I believe every every faction has at least one weapon, right? Cool. The Gaston Grey, Sunspear, the Blood Orange Grove times two. Doran's game, Unbowed, Unbent, Unbroken, Confinement. And then we go to the Night's Watch, Benjen Stark, Ghost, Jon Snow, Maester Aemon, Old Bear Marmont, Samuel Tarly, Sir Waymore Royce, Yoren, Messenger Raven, Old Forest Hunter, The Ranging Party, Stuart at the Wall, Veteran Builder, Long Claw, uh, Castle Black, and The Wall, of course. A meager contribution times two, Take the Black, uh, uh, The Sword in the Darkness. And then we go on to House Targaryen, Daenerys Targaryen, Drogon, Khal Drogo, Magister Illyrio, Rhaegal, Sir Jorah Mormont, Viserion, Viserys Targaryen, look at the madness in his eyes, Braided Warrior, Handmaiden, uh, Targaryen Loyalists, The Unsullied, Drogos Arach, The Plaza of Punishment, Dothraki Sea, and Illyrio's Estate times two, Dracaris, Fire and Blood, Waking the Dragon, and that's that. And then we have House uh, Tyrell, that's it, left. Maester Loomis, Marjorie Tyrell, uh, Paxter Redwine, Randall, Randall T Tarly, Randall Tarly, right. Yeah, right. Left and right. Hmm. The Knight of Flowers. The Queen of Thorns. Courtesan of the Rose. The Garden Caretaker. Olena's Informant. The Wardens of the Reach. Heartsbane. We have High Garden. The Mander. The Rose Garden times two. Growing Strong. Olena's Cunning. And the bear and the maiden fair. And I really like this kind of art. It looks simple. Medieval even. Well, it's all based on medieval stuff anyway. Right. I love it. I played the game. Um, it's, it's actually quite simple. It's uh, a lot simpler than I thought it would be. And I really, really like it. So, expect more packs to be coming in for this um, to be unpacked. So, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.